I struggled with weight my entire life, and at my heaviest, I weighed 275 pounds. I tried for years to lose the weight, but I kept failing, and I was starting to get frustrated because I couldn't figure out what was wrong. Finally, I realized there were three things I was doing that was actually sabotaging my weight loss and causing me to gain weight. Once I figured those things out and I started to fix them, I was able to lose 130 pounds and keep it off for seven years. So I'm gonna share those three things in this video with you guys in case they'll help you on your own weight loss journey. The first one was skipping meals. Anytime I skipped meals, it was usually breakfast, and anytime I did that, I set myself up for failure. I thought that by skipping breakfast, I could save myself calories and lose weight faster, but what happened was by the end of the day, I would be so hungry, it would backfire, and I would end up eating way more than I planned, it would throw me way off track for weeks, and I would end up gaining any weight that I did lose, I would gain it all back and more. So I thought, why don't I try eating several smaller meals and spread them throughout the day. So I decided to do five meals. I did breakfast, lunch, dinner, and two snacks. And I spread them about two to four hours apart. And once I started doing that, that set me up for success because I had a meal every few hours and it was keeping me from being too over hungry and it was really helping me stop overeating because I was always feeling like I was having something to eat. So that really set me up for success there. The second one, and this was one of my biggest struggles, um, I was stopping myself from eating late at night. And eating late at night was one of my biggest struggles. Once I started, I couldn't stop. So I thought, why don't I just avoid late night eating? All that did was cause me to rebel and I would end up eating at night and like I said, once I started I couldn't stop and I would end up eating way too much every night and it caused me to gain a lot of weight. So then I realized, why don't I take one of those snacks that I was eating and put it at night, specifically where my problem area was. And my biggest problem area was at night after dinner when all my chores were done and I was ready to relax. That was when I would wanna eat something with watching a movie or whatever I was doing. Like I said, I was eating five meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and two snacks. I took one of those snacks and I put it at that time. That took away the guilt because I was allowing myself to eat and it was setting me up for success because I was putting a snack there that was portioned and once it was done, I ate a snack, I allowed myself to have one and it was usually something tasty so it, it made me not want to overeat because it was like part of my track so I didn't want to go off track and that really, really helped. Another thing that I often, I thought was the problem was like, what you eat at night and we often get this question like can I eat carbs at night what I realized is as long as I'm eating in a calorie deficit I can eat whatever I want I can eat carbs at night I can eat whatever time of night I want as long as I'm eating less and that was the biggest thing I had to be in a calorie deficit and then I could eat whatever I liked you know, sometimes I would eat popcorn, sometimes like ice, uh, low calorie ice cream and a couple cookies. Whatever I felt like eating, I put something really tasty there so that I would look forward to it and it would help me stay on track. Yeah, there's no magic window. What I learned is if I was eating too much, I would gain weight. And if I was eating less, I would be getting the results and losing weight. It didn't matter what I ate at what time, it was about eating less. So you eat too much, you gain weight, you eat a little less, whatever that is for your body because everyone's different, you'll get the results and lose the weight. Number three, not having my meals prepped. Any time on my weight loss journey that I did not have meals prepped and ready to go, I would be set up for failure because what would happen is it would be time for whatever, lunch, dinner, I would be super hungry, I wouldn't have anything prepped, so I would end up 
grabbing whatever was in sight, usually what I didn't plan on eating or something that was way more calories than I expected. And then I would, because I didn't have a meal prep, I would feel guilty and I would end up eating way more than I planned and it would set me up and I would gain weight. So I started buying single serving already prepped snacks like granola bars, protein bars, that kind of thing. And then I would always have tasty meals prepped and ready to go in the fridge. And I still do that because then when I'm hungry, I have something, if it's tasty, I'm excited to eat it. So I wanna eat the prep meal and it's there ready for me to go so there's no excuse. I eat what I've got, it's within my calories or my portions, whatever I'm doing at the time. And it sets me up for success. And that is how I was able to stay on track by doing all those things, not skipping meals, allowing myself to eat late at night without feeling guilty, having a tasty snack, and then making sure that I had snacks and meals prepped and ready to go. And I also wanna throw a bonus in here. The other thing that I was doing, I didn't even realize, was I was consuming liquid calories all day. So at the beginning of my weight loss journey, I was drinking seven cans of regular pop. I was also drinking full sugar, regular juice and I was drinking high calorie coffee drinks like French vanilla cappuccino I didn't realize how many calories all those things had in them and I was consuming over a, about a thousand calories just in liquid and I had no clue once I realized that I started switching them out for zero calorie or low calorie drinks and I saved myself about a thousand calories just in liquid and that really helped me get the results. And because I didn't take away the pop, I just switched to diet, it allowed me to stay on track and not like rebel and overeat. And that is exactly what I did. And again, don't listen to me, I'm not a professional, I'm just a this that lost a lot of weight. Always consult a medical professional before you do anything to do with your diet, health, all that stuff. This is just a me and that worked for me and this is for entertainment purposes. And if you want to know what I ate to lose weight, I got two weight loss ebooks. Link it down there along with my brand new guilt free cookbook and the link for the huddle. This the Harvard and Lifetime Protein because this is the best protein ever and a sponsored Lucky Marshmallow is my favorite. Or you can watch one, two videos for free to see exactly how I love my food, love my life, and and just keep getting cute results and just being lean but not mean. See this? So I love you. Hope you enjoyed the vid. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace, the friends. Have a beautiful day. Love ya. See ya. See ya. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't